Over to the member for North Vancouver, Seymour. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity to speak to a very, very important subject. I come to you from the uh, unceded territories of the Musqueam, Tsleil-Waututh and Squamish today, and I'm delighted to be able to speak a little bit about housing. Um, it's one of the very few uh, uh, things that we actually all agree on. Every one of us uh, recognizes that housing is desperately important in everybody's life. Uh, it is a major health, health determinant. It is a determinant as to how well people do in the job market. Uh, if you're living in a Volkswagen van, it's much more difficult to have the appropriate clothes on for your job. Uh, it's, it's very um, imperative to all of us to have safe and secure housing that we can afford and provides us with the supports that we need. Uh, we've got data all over the place. We've had lots of opportunities to read reports and everything else. And this data, every one of those data points represents a person. These are people and people are imperative and people are imperative to all of us in this in this house. And we all want to work towards uh, our peop the people having what they need. Um, we, I had the opportunity last week to talk to a, a gentleman who actually uh, is living in our local homeless, homeless shelter. Uh, he had moved here from Montreal because actually Vancouver and BC is safer and it's warmer. And uh, this is something that is part of our data set. We've got people moving in from all over the place to stay here because it's safer and we have a climate. These people are, we are aware the government is providing, has been providing opportunities for people to have somewhere. Uh, there's been a lot of work done in the Homes for BC plan. We're working towards the goal of 114 homes being built over the next 10 years. I know of a person who a couple of years ago told us he'd won the lottery. I had the work opportunity to work with some folks. He'd won the lottery. He was so excited. He had got a single room in a uh, single room occupancy hotel. It was the first time in his life that he had been anywhere that he had his own bathroom in his life that he didn't have to share a bathroom with somebody else, mostly non family members and mostly people he didn't know. These people are important. We understand that we need to do that work and we're doing that work. It's in play. The in BC housing, the market share is everybody's dream. I so hear it from the from the member from Kelowna West. Everybody dreams of owning a home. We need to make that a possibility. And we're doing things towards making that a possibility. We've looked at renters capping so that people can actually do some saving. We've looked at rental freezes so that we can try and do some saving. Uh, we, we hear from our young. They want to be able to live in the communities that they grew up in. Let's make that happen. Let's see how we can make that work. We've got housing units coming together in various different communities that are looking towards multi-generational, accommodating our seniors, accommodating our young families, accommodating our folks that are not necessarily in within the average uh, uh, definition. We are looking towards doing many, many different things. The speculation and vac vacancy tax, that brought much more housing onto the market to make it available for renting. Good start, much more to do, recognize that. We are just, there are so many things that we can do, so many things that we should do, so many things we could do, and we will get onto some of those things and maybe all of those things. However, we've got to work together. I'm proud to be part of a government that is using its heart, its mind and its feet to get this work done and to work together and work forward so that we can provide the best opportunities for our folks. Uh, and we, we can only do it by listening together, working together and providing together to, to meet the needs of our people. And I appreciate this opportunity to speak. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.